I'm reading the Bush newspaper this morning. In this episode, we travel south from Nosok to Rupert's, where we will be staying for four nights. Join us on this adventure as we experience incredible sightings, a leopard in a tree, a cheetah kill, and lots of life. Just 10 kilometers south of Nosok, the excitement began. There she was, a leopard in a tree. The young leopard was hunting for anything possible, from rodents to birds. In this moment, we realized how unforgiving the Kalahari's environment can be. We were in awe of the power and agility she showcased in the treetops. The hunt was unsuccessful, but maybe tomorrow it will be her day. After such a beautiful sighting, we smiled all the way to Roetwitz. Nothing beats a self-built calcrete braai for your first night at Roetwitz. Rikus, Stacy and my parents joined us for the rest of our adventure. We set up at campsite number 5, which had excellent facilities. An outdoor shower with running cold water, a long drop toilet, and an A-frame. Two barn owls made this A-frame their home, which was amazing, but left a not so amazing smell. What makes a red bird so special, you may ask? Of course, it's the mesmerizing sunsets. What about you for not? A kerry noodles lie with tasker and rosine. Kerry noodles. Team Stay with Stacy was just in time for dinner, ending the day on a beautiful high note. Lekker in de Galagaard. <laughs> Let's 
The first light at Roybud is always a real treat. We're on our way north on an early morning game drive. Photographer's tip. Film animals on the eastern dunes during sunrise for that perfect silhouette effect. Ik heb zeker al zo'n 5, 7 kilo's achter haar liefst te raken. Maar hij heeft nog niet gebruikt, liefst zo'n liefst. Ja. After a successful morning game drive, we prepare rooster cooked burgers for brunch. <laughs> now this is what your can looks like when you finish a Mabua trip. But it's still good. <laughs> Rikus and Stacy prepared dinner while we soaked up the last bits of sun. First coffee before we head back for more. There she was, Kareem, the famous cheetah mom of three. She was born in March 2011 and her sub-adult cubs, two males and one female, were born in January 2021. She has successfully raised eight cubs to independence and on her way to succeed with these three youngsters.
she was on the hunt. It all happened so fast that we missed to capture the action. Don't we all have a story like that? Fortunately, my father Pierre Ruchet, the best photographer not on Instagram, saved the day. For a good laugh, watch our blooper right at the end. She kept calling for her offspring to come and enjoy the feast, but unfortunately it was too windy and they were about 500 meters away. After no success, she went searching after them. And there it is, the special moment when her cubs noticed she was on the dune. She then led them to the carcass. One of the cubs inspected the queue, but clearly needed mommy's help. See how Kareem taught her cubs how to pull the queue into the shade. Each cub had the opportunity to practice the skill. Okay, you can. Trek. Hey, Trek, Trek. Come, but he's help. Hey, 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 I'm going to go to the I'm not going to be able to do it.
While they were feasting, we head back to camp to enjoy lunch. Meet our little campsite friend. It is late afternoon and of course we decided to check up on the cheetahs. We shared this moment with them with no other vehicle in sight. You could taste the happiness around the campfire after a spectacular day. Guess where we are going to this morning? To check up on the cheetahs, obviously. Naughty little black back jackal couldn't wait his turn to feast on the leftovers. Thank you Roy Pitts. we will definitely see you again in the near future. In the next episode we head north to Palenswa, where a male lion ruins a Gemsko kill and the Palenswa pride give us much joy. We love to share our adventures with you. Please support us by liking, commenting and subscribing to our channel.